welcome to my channel lucky lucky it's a darn good yarn um i can't recall which box number it is i should have checked before i started it's maybe 19 something like that i have started numbering them because it's number specific i found out um so each box 19 should be the same if you get my drift it's not like you join in with the subscription at whatever stage it's at so Ooh, gosh, that's bright. Now, I'm trying not to block the camera. I think I'm good. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at those colors. Aren't they fantastic? Holy cow. There's not much wool in there, though. Silk, whatever. Okay, this is called a Vibrant Macaron. It's silk roving worsted weight yarn. I have a few of the worsted weights. They're quite thick. I haven't got a project yet. Okay. Uh, that's the be artsy. Look, you've heard it all before. This is helping, supporting uh, Indian um, small business, I guess. Um, entrepreneurship, not so much, but certainly helping the small businesses. This is using waste silk. And I'll talk to you a little bit more in that in a few minutes. So it's a worsted weight. It's a number four medium. So the gauge of the needle would be a four and a half to five and a half or a US seven to nine. And the gauge is 16 to 20 strands per four inches. And if you crochet, it would be a five and a half to six and a half medium millimeter hook, which is a US I to K or nine to ten and a half. This retails, as usual, for about $15. It's so squishy and soft. Um, I'm going to have to start gathering these in one space, I think. Although I kind of like keeping them in their boxes because... Um, they're pretty. They're actually right next to me and the tower is growing so much. That's gorgeous. I don't know what worsted weight is. My husband is asking in the cheap seats. And look, there's a free gift. Okay, so the gift, whoops, keeping an eye on the, the lids going over the camera. It's making a peacock. Uh, stuffed peacock. Everything is in this. I've actually got a couple of their kits. I've got unicorns. Somebody might be getting it in the mail some year. It's a gift worth $15. I think when I bought the gifts, they were at a reduced kind of sale price, so they might be down to 10. So keep your eye out on that. Now, I don't know if I can get into this and keep it together. I should be able to. So, sneaky, sneaky. And choppy, choppy. Have a look what you get in one of these kits now these kits are available on their site darngoodyarn.com so we get the yellow we were only talking about peacocks in the car today you get blue you get green Oof, that's up wow smack you in the face green you get an aqua you get a tiny amount of white so you get what you need and you get a emerald green and you get a little bit of black like so little you might lose that one so there's that oh god it's a four needle dobby i haven't done one of those so you get some bamboo some bamboo needles at three mil Ooh. okay that scares me and you get some stuffing pill whatever you call it could be squashed down even tighter if they were really keen on space management, but it's, it's fine. I don't know what vacuuming... Ooh, what you... Oh my goodness. And look, you get... Okay, they're plastic. They're cheap. But you get a crochet hook and you get a darning needle to stitch them together. That's kind of cool. And it's a really cool... It's actually more aqua in colour. What do you want? Don't touch. No. No. Go ask daddy. So you get a blue yarn, a light blue yarn, a light green yarn, a green yarn, a yellow yarn, a white yarn, a black yarn. You get stuffing, you get four knitting needles, and you get sewing needle. Okay, I'm going to keep the pattern off the screen. Ooh, it even gives you pictures. That's cool. It shows you how to join threads. It shows you how to purl. It shows you how to... 
uh, M1B, which would be, where's my anagrams? M1B is make one stitch at the beginning and then make one stitch to, at the right. There's all these instructions on this. Look, if you know how to knit your basic stitches, there's more instructiony bits how to make the magic ring with crochet. This is cool. Okay, so this is the crocheted peacock. Let me see if I can get that shine off. There's the crocheted peacock. And I'm not showing you anything that you can't get anywhere on the internet. It's abbreviations and it's how to do stitches. So I'm not showing the pattern. Um, so there's the peacock. Um, I'm just giving you a time just to pause and think on the crochet version. And this is the knit version. I'm struggling to see the difference. Okay, so that's the crochet and that's the knit. You know, I sometimes you can tell which is better that you'd like to see a result in. I wow. Um no, can't pick it in that one. Okay, let me get the peel back in because that was holding up the pattern. Let me pack these duvalakis in and get the colours all back in your token white and your even more token black. And let's put the baby in the box and we squish and now we see <laughs> why the sticky stuff was on top. Okay. Was I was gonna say wasabi tape. That would be a good name for it. Uh, where's my store? washi tape. I have six racks of washi tape in front of me so I always have some tape on hand if it will stick. Washi tape is not exactly the best for gripping things but it's probably good enough. Come on over to the side. That's it. Put that home and stick the other. It's just got to kind of keep it together. All right so there you go. There's old peacock. Now, the box you can reuse. So take a peek under your goodies for some fun ways to use the box. I've talked about this before. You can re-gift it something in it. You can place it on a shelf. You can wear it as a hat. It's a little bit small for me. I did try. Um, you can store patterns in it. You can use it as a cat-proof whip box. People with cats. You can put everything back in and experience the fun all over again, which is kind of what I do for now but you could basically start one of these and stack all your patterns in them and then stack all your wool in other things so this is the yarn of the month and to give you the background I suppose on the art sense it's showing you the pictures of how they do the dyeing and look it's liquid dyeing and it's just laid out and it's as simple as that really if you want to try home dyeing yourself it's addictive let me just say that it's so much fun uh, we want you to feel the goodness that our artisans have put into each and every skein. The yarn is made from recycled silk and is hand dyed by our talented artisans in India. These women and men take the time handcrafting each skein, bringing a little piece of India to you. This yarn is recycled as it's made from a silk byproduct. So I'm going to hold it in the corner so you can just ogle that colour. The yarn is a byproduct made from silk. Uh, it's often for a forgotten material that is created while reeling silk cones. The reeling process yields about 10 to 15% waste. Luckily, we are able to take that waste material and create this unique yarn for you. After the yarn is produced, it's hand dyed, creating one of a kind schemes. So the, again, this is a silk roving weight, worsted weight yarn. It's only 75 yards, so it is a small ball of yarn. If you have a plan, it needs to be either small or you need to put these together with other worsted weights. and. To be honest, the worsted weights that I've got, um, you would be able to merge these because the colours are kind of similar. It would be a little bit funky, but it could be a project if you wanted to make a chunky scarf kind of thing. Your mystery gift is the peacock uh, stuffed kit and it comes with everything you need to knit or crochet the adorable little peacock. And it absolutely does. So, as I said, you're supporting the handcraft you can get information on the stitch, which is darn good yarn, the stitch. Uh, you can avail of the Yarn Club exclusives. So you've got the subscription, you've got a shipping rate, you've got the dashboard. If you need a break, you can skip a month. 
and it's customer service, online community, and the stitch video. Now, the knit pattern for this ball of yarn is a fingerless glove, and that is so soft that would be gorgeous. Um, not quite keen on where that join is, so let's see what the crochet is. The crochet, ooh, oh my goodness, look at those. They look like loom bands. Oh man, that's cute. That's kind of cool. I have worn fingerless gloves since I've been a teenager. I used to wear the fingerless gloves and the sleeves up on a cold winter day and go cycling because that was my mode of transport. Um, now there is a thank you so much. Your purchase helps the people and the planet. Sustainability is the forefront of everything we do from our hand dyed yarn to our colorful shipping box. Your order has been created with eco-friendly processes. You our yarn gives year-round sustainable employment to our artisans around the world, which is then packed with love by our partners at Crossroads Industries, which provide employment for adults with developmental disabilities. Thank you for helping make the world a better place. This is why I support Darn Good Yarn. <coughs> Excuse me, because it's not all about me. All right, isn't it gorgeous? All right, now if you are interested in becoming a Darn Good Yarn subscriber, you can subscribe to them. They are a $20 box at the moment. Um, you can um, avail of a discount in the link that I will put in the description. And um, yeah, but look, it's a gorgeous box. It's really sturdy. They can be recycled. I have recycled them. I've flipped it all inside out. And now they've got pretty patterns on the inside to make it cool inside and out. So you've got those funky sheep that can make the inside of the box and then you've got all these cool sayings which is open to become artsy interesting and creatively empowered ignite your creative spark and included with purchase helping people and our planet is under that gaudy sticker and then you've got the sticker on the bottom so you can hide it by turning it inside out but look that is it's cool and it's supporting and it's um, it's gorgeous yarn. Now you wouldn't be able to pull this too tight so um, you do need to take care with this. You do need to be a little bit gentle with these. Um, so yeah, there you have it. There are the um, the box and I will have the month or the number of the box in the starter intro so you can tell what number it is. I think it's 19 just from memory. Um, it's yeah. So um, yeah, I will see you around on the tubes and um, don't forget to click, click, like, subscribe, do all that kind of jazz and um, I'll see you around. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.